Hello YouTube boys, I know I'm sorry we skipped a schedule for posting a YouTube video and that is because we are kinda dry on content and this usually happens for Genshin Impact content creators, not just us but well, every Genshin content creators in general that there is going to be a, um, several time gaps where there's going to be a lack of content because the game itself doesn't give out content fast enough so all we can do right now is wait for the 2.2 stream, uh, up, uh, 2.2 update stream, and actually wait for 2.2 to drop. So we decided to make um, a video that will be a little bit too early, but I think will be a very interesting topic, which is how good is Hutao Constellation One, and if it's worth the pull for. I personally have a C0 Hutao, but have experienced a C1 Hutao on a friend's account, which is Falling's. And in my opinion, this constellation single-handedly will be able to change her gameplay. So basically, in her elemental skill state, with constellation 1 activated, charge attack won't consume any stamina. You can literally regen stamina while doing charge attacks. But again, is it worth it? But in this video, we're not going to be giving you an exact answer of when it's worth it. If it's worth it or not, we're gonna leave that for you to decide. In this video, we're just gonna help you guys by giving you guys considerations or if C1 Hu Tao is worth it. So basically, this video is a C0 versus C1 Hu Tao. We're gonna be doing several runs with both of these. One is gonna be my Hu Tao and the constellation 1 Hu Tao will be Falling's. But be sure to keep in mind that this whole video is based on our opinion and our experience on the game. So if you disagree, you can always comment it down below. But please be nice and respectful while speaking your mind. And of course, my Hutao and Falix's Hutao builds are going to be different. But well, it's going to be a little bit similar. But well, there's always going to be some unfairness. But we did our best to keep um, to keep everything as fair as possible. If there are some unfairness, I will be sure to state them out in the next section of the video, which is the builds. And again, this whole video is to compare this convenience of C0 versus C1 Hu Tao, not to compare both of our Hu Tao's damage. So the damage doesn't really matter too much, uh, we're just here to see how convenient C1 can get. As for the builds, let's start with my Hu Tao, which is the C0 one, which is on level 90 with 31 po with 31,618 HP, attack on 992, and her elemental mastery is on 93. As for the ratio, it's 73.6% to 105%, and there's actually a very easy way to see if your ratio is good or not, and I'll be explaining that briefly right now, which is just to multiply the crit rate percent with the crit damage percent, and the closer the result gets to 2, the better. And mine in this case is 1.508. Uh, it's rounded up a bit anyways. Her energy recharge is on 104% and she is using the deathmatch on refinement 1. As for her artifacts, she's using the full crimson witch set. And um, again, she's on constellation 0. And for her talent, she is triple crowned. As for falling Hu Tao, which is the constellation 1 Hu Tao, she... Um, uh, Hu Tao is on level 90 with 31,843 uh, 31, HP, which is very close to mine, and the attack is 1137, which is higher, which will be explained a little bit later, and the elemental mastery is lower on 37. And as for the ratio, it's 60.5% to 15.1%, which results as, using, using the method before, it's 1.301. Which is, well, it's not too far away. So both of our hutals are pretty similar to each other. As for the energy recharge, it's on ward 9.1%. And as for why the base attack is higher, that is because Fallings here is using the Primordial Jade Wing Spear on Refinement 1, which is a 5 star weapon with higher base attack. And as for the artifacts, it's same with mine, he uses the full Crimson Witch set. As for the constellation, as I stated before, this is the C1 Hu Tao. And for the talents, it's on 9, 10, 10. The AA is one level lower than mine, but well, let's just say it makes things a little bit more uh, equal as Falling is using a 5 star weapon. Anyways, as for the runs, we're going to be doing one run for each of these Hu Taos, which is against the Mago Kenki on Abyss 12 2 1. We did several runs and just took the best out of all of them. 
and we're going to keep things realistic. And what I mean by this is we're not gonna min max and try to get the best time out of both of them, we're just gonna be doing two casual runs, which means that we're not gonna be using some complicated mechanics that will just save several seconds for the run, like for example jump cancel, or I don't know, any kind of the sort. There's also, what's it called, glide cancel or something? We're not gonna be using that. Well, I mean, I will gladly perform my jump cancelling technique in this video, but... Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. And I will state this once more, damage is not our main purpose on this video, but to see the effectiveness of Constellation 1 on Hu Tao. And the things that we're gonna be using is Hu Tao, Sing Chu, which is naked, only flower to keep him, um, you know, a little bit more durable, and we're gonna be using Diona for protection and, well, if you're protected, you're going to be, you're gonna hit more consistently, as you don't have to worry too much about dodging. And Diona here won't be using her burst for the whole run to avoid activating Phalanx's Diona C6. Let's start with my Hu Tao. As for my Hu Tao, which is the C0 Hu Tao, the time taken is 1 minute and 35 seconds. We are able to quickly dispose of the Maga Kenki, and well, you know, it's not a bad run. It's pretty good. And so far, we are we we're not really seeing any much of a problem doing these runs. Hu Tao is protected by Dinona's shield, and she is able to deal a lot of damage, and C0 is not much of a problem. Anyways, let's see how Phalanx's Hu Tao do. Wait, pause the video right there. So actually making these kind of videos take a lot of time and effort. So if you're enjoying this video so far, it will be greatly appreciated if you just like this video and also subscribe to our channel. It is free and you can always change your mind later. Anyways, back to the video. Okay, there you go, C1 Hu Tao. Felix here is able to dispose of the Magu Kenki a little bit faster on 1 minute and 14 seconds. And that is quite obvious because, well, the Constellation 1 actually is a constellation that uh, make things 
way more convenient and well he's just going to be able to dish out more DPS as he has more stamina to, um, to do his charge attacks. Caesar Hu Tao here is definitely good enough already or not actually it's pretty cracked Hu Tao is a character that's already overpowered even on constellation 0. C1 actually doesn't do much in um, additional damage since as you can see on the times there's not too much of a difference but C1 here actually is able to give more opportunity for Hu Tao to do more charge attacks in one DPS window and this is because you're gonna have less worries of getting hit basically this constellation makes everything easier as I said before playing on Caesar requires you to think more especially on stamina management and dodging but the C1 here, if you do have it, it just makes things way 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 easier and convenient as you play, especially on a long term fight against an enemy that deals insane damage which makes you require to dodge or even when enemies are spread apart. As in this kind of situation, a C0 Hu Tao will be using more of her AAs instead of charge attacks. Yes, um, instead of charge attacks because you're gonna have to save up your stamina to sprint on the next enemy or to dodge. And for a Hu Tao C0, you're gonna have to wait your stamina to regen back to, for you to do more charge attacks. As for C1, you can literally recharge your stamina while doing charge attacks, which makes things very very convenient. While well, actually, utilizing sprint cancelling on Hu Tao Constellation 1 can be a bit of a problem at first until you can get used to it. So um, you are going to have to be able to time it correctly and your Hu Tao will be at its peak potential. In other words, if you have Hu Tao on Constellation 1, you can always deal maximum power of damage in, um, in terms of charge attacks no matter, um, no matter what. If I remember correctly with cancelling, you can do up to 10 or 11 charge per um, cycle. Unlike C0 where you can probably only be dealing around 6 to 8 or whatever because you're gonna have to be dodging well it's more like, it's more to due to the lack of stamina I guess so is constellation one worth it yes but constellations are never worth compared to if you want to get other characters in the future especially as a free to play but it is better to try and gamble on this event banner to get constellation one instead of the weapon banner which in this case is staff of Homa I personally recommend you guys saving for future characters as Hu Tao is definitely already cracked on C0. You just have to take your time and learn her mechanics properly and get used to it. If you think I missed an important detail or you disagree with some of our opinions, you can always comment it down below but again, please remember to be nice and respectful while speaking your mind. If you do find this video enjoyable or resourceful at any point, please consider liking this video, sharing it, and also subscribing as it is free and you can always change your mind later. It is very something very simple but it will help us by a whole lot. Discord link will also be down below in the description if, you want to, uh, if you're interested to just, you know, chat and chill with us. And with all of that said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Give me a little bit of 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 a little